What is up, buds? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Mac Dizzle, and today we're gonna dive into a little story time about last year um, when I was followed home and I was robbed. Um, I didn't realize I haven't actually like formally done a story time about this. I definitely spoke about it on social media, but I didn't, I guess I just never sat down and told the story of how it happened. So here it is. Um, before we dive into that, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, spiel for you. This video is brought to you by Five CBD. They're doing this really cool deal right now where uh, if you're like interested in like trying CBD, you can try a free product of theirs. Um, all you have to do is pay for shipping. You obviously have to be of age to order these things. But yeah, that's literally all you have to do is pay for shipping and it's just an awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity to try CBD for the first time. This is my favorite CBD company, the only CBD company that you will see me repping anywhere. I literally, I buy this for my grandparents. So, they have a lot of different products. Um, this is like a daily gummy that they have. These are some delicious fucking chocolates. This might be my favorite product. It's, it's a tie between this and their nighttime gummies. Um, I suffer from severe anxiety constantly, and so taking CBD daily has helped me tremendously with that. This brand specifically has a little bit of that good good in there, if you know what I'm saying. And it's also legal in all 50 states. You can ship it anywhere. They have tinctures. These are night gummies that have melatonin in them. And then they also have some like vapes and things like that if you're interested in it. If you'd like to learn more, if you're interested in trying it out, please check the pinned comments. I will have a pinned comment with all of the information that you need. Um, but like I said, they have this really cool opportunity for anyone who's looking to try it. You can, um, you just click the link and you can get a free product. All you have to do is pay for shipping. So pin comment, check them out. I'm gonna take one of these daily buzz gummies right now. So, shout out to 5 CBD. Thank you for sponsoring this video. If you wanna support your girl, make me look good, click this fucking link that I leave for you, please. So let's dive into this little story right here. I'm gonna preface this by saying it was not a violent robbery. I was not like held up at gunpoint. Um, it was nothing like that. So if that's why you're here, that's, that's not what it was. This is really just a cautionary tale to warn other people what to look for and just to be safe and so that this doesn't happen to anybody else. This is strictly for educational reasons here. I also don't need any sympathy. I'm totally good. I bounced back 100%, like everything is fine. This happened over a year ago, so it's fine. But last year for Christmas, I ended up going um, to the mall with my little sister to buy my mother a Christmas present. I love my mother so much and she is that kind of person who just enjoys the finer things in life. It's something that she's always, always really wanted is like a really nice designer purse. So last year I was finally in like a financial place to where I could afford to do that for her. And so I ended up going to Louis Vuitton with my little sister and I purchased her the most gorgeous purse. I also bought myself a little belt and we were on our way. My little sister and I had our big Louis Vuitton bag. We were walking through the mall to the parking lot, to my car. And then we drove to my mother's house, which was about 15, 20 minutes away. I wasn't, I didn't end up driving directly home because I needed to A, drop off my little sister and I wanted to say goodbye to my mom or like hi bye because I hadn't seen her that day before I went to my house. So I parked in my mom's driveway, middle of the day. I told my sister, I was like, I wanna run in and say um, goodbye to mom since she's here. I'm just gonna come say bye and I don't wanna bring her gift in because she'll see like the brand I got her. I don't want her to know what I got her. So I covered up the gift with a jacket or a blanket or whatever in my back seat, ran inside for literally, I shit you not, like four minutes. It was no longer than three to four minutes. I just ran in, got a glass of water, said goodbye to my mom, gave her a hug and a kiss, grabbed my keys and I was on my way out. And on my way out, I see that my back window has been shattered. I instantly go into panic mode. I look in my car, they literally just pulled back the blanket, took the bags and had left in a matter of like four minutes. These people followed me home and made that happen so quickly in broad daylight while there were literally people outside across the street. There were people outside across the street and they saw me nothing. So I was devastated, but then the bigger realization kind of started to sink in like, what if I had driven home to my house where I live and they saw me walk in by myself 
into this house. Like I was living alone at that time and the thought of just somebody having the opportunity to like victimize me in my home is so fucking scary. I was grateful that it had happened the way that it did happen and that I was okay and alive. Um, but I was so frustrated because I felt so stupid because it felt like such a preventable thing. Like I really had no idea we were being followed. The only recollection I can have is that there were two men who kind of seemed to be tailing us. Like if I think back, if I thought back in my memory, I could remember these two guys who were loosely kind of walking near us. Like, I just remember walking to my car, getting in the car and thinking nothing more of it because I was like, okay, I'm in my car, I'm safe now. I did not think that these people were gonna, like, you know? The average person doesn't think that they're gonna get robbed, and doesn't think they're gonna get followed home and robbed. So I'm just out here to warn everybody. If you go Christmas shopping this year, please just keep your head on a swivel and be super, super wary um of anyone who might be following you like it's okay to be paranoid it's definitely okay to to keep your head in a swivel and and make a couple extra turns if you think someone's following you if you make three left turns or three right turns and this person is still following you you've essentially made a circle and so at that point um i would start to worry that you are being followed and so i guess my advice in that situation would be to probably drive to a location where you you know that you are safe and secure and that you have other people who can maybe come meet you outside or alternatively uh maybe drive to a police station i'm not saying drive in there go talk to the police and tell them i'm being followed no what you're basically what driving to the police station does is it lets the person know who's following you hey i know what the fuck you're doing and here we are what's good um, I don't fuck with police like that. I don't really like to call police that often. I'm, you know, my mom called the cops when the stuff got stolen and she, we filed the report. Nothing happened, nothing came of it. Literally, it was a waste of time. It was a very eye-opening experience and I just don't want anyone to be like followed home and have the worst case scenario happen. I just hope that somebody watches this and like just takes this information and like prevents something terrible from happening to themselves because I can't, like, I didn't even think about the fact that I was being followed. I didn't pay attention to any of that. And I really could have just driven to my house, walked in by myself, and who knows how desperate these people were. Maybe they got lucky in my situation. Maybe they were prepared to do more. Who fucking knows? I am grateful that I was in a place where I was able to go and purchase another fucking purse for her. But having someone just steal from you is one of the worst feelings in the world but i also can't imagine like how desperate you have to be to like follow somebody home like you have to be like so fucking desperate and during the holiday season especially out here in la it's been crazy it's been absolutely insane literally right now in la like people are being robbed left and right it's crazy like people are getting robbed at dinner for their jewelry for their wallets like somebody just walked into like a, a diner the other day with a gun and the couple had to take off all of their jewelry give them everything that they had it's just a very scary time out there people are extra extra desperate so just keep yourself safe keep yourself so 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 safe because what happened to me was entirely preventable like if i had just like a little bit more common sense it probably wouldn't have happened. If I had like just like noticed that somebody was tailing me, if I thought about the fact that somebody could be, I feel like I would have had a very different outcome to that situation. But yeah, that's that's basically what happened. It wasn't like this hugely violent thing, but it was a very, very expensive endeavor. I just wanted to share this little story and hopefully prevent it from happening to somebody else because it was crappy. I love you, buds. I hope you stay so, so safe this holiday season. Again, thank you, 5CBD. Please, please, please click the link in the pinned comment. Um, nothing bad will come of it. I promise that for you. As long as you're of age. Don't click the link if you're not of age. Just get out of here. Get off this channel. You're the reason I'm getting age restricted. But have a great day, buds. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still watching it right now, comment. Watermelon vibe. Because, like, look green pink anyways be good to yourself 
be good to each other, make good choices, do something nice for yourself and for somebody else today. If you're not gonna do something nice for yourself, do not something nice for somebody else. And that could be something as simple as like holding the door open. All right guys, I will see you next time.